Did you make a decision? Northwestern is my dream school. I have to go. I was hoping you'd say that. But what about us? Just pack me in your suitcase. <laughs> we'll be fine. Just four short years. Of long distance. And then you'll move back. And until then, I'll come visit, you'll come back to Florida, and no matter how far we are, whenever we're out on the water, It'll be like we're back together. Although I heard kayaking on Lake Michigan doesn't compare to the Gulf. Oh, then maybe you shouldn't go to Northwestern. <laughs> I love you, Alana. I love you, Kai. That's all that matters. want love. Growing up, I saw my parents so in love and knew that was what I wanted. But when it came to dating, I was impractical about it. I chased the fairy tale romance even when I knew it was just a fairy tale. And that inspired us to Dream Up Closer, a dating app that finds users fulfilling and practical long-term relationships. Our goal is to bring users closer to love by matching compatible people in close proximity. People we cross paths with every day. And if you're wondering about our success rate, well, we're not just closer as CEO and CTO, we're also members. A year ago, I met my boyfriend Evan on Closer. For years, we had lived three blocks from each other, went to the same coffee shop, gym, dry cleaners, and never crossed paths until Closer. Closer works. It worked for us. At least one of us. Although, I did just get a new 99% match on Closer. He loves tiki bars, salsa dancing, and dogs. You just described yourself. I know. And he works the next building over. We're having dinner tonight. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, back to it. Okay. What we need from you at Atlas Capital is the funding to take Closer National. We've been beta testing to great success in Chicago, San Francisco, LA, New York, and St. Petersburg, Florida, where I'm from. But now, with your help, we can take it nationwide and bring singles everywhere closer. What do you think? I think look less nervous. Oh. We've got this. And if we don't, the coffee shop in the lobby is hiring, so. <laughs> Renee, whatever happens, I'm glad we did this together. Me too. Now let's go get that funding. <sighs> It seems like Atlas really liked our pitch, said they were intrigued and would discuss with their team. That's incredible. Thank you, but hold the confetti until we hear something concrete. Is everything okay? Of course, yeah. What are you thinking? Uh, just that our dates would be a little more fun if I didn't spend them losing. <laughs> Evan, there's no losing on the driving range. <laughs> You lose on the course. Oh, okay. <laughs> you sure you're okay? I'm great. Oh, uh, hey, actually, I have a new ball I want you to try. Alana, almost a year ago, we had our first date right here. Where even with just a five iron, you still out hit me. We argued about your swing, and I was sure we'd never have a second date. But we did. And it's been an amazing year together ever since. We have so much fun. We make each other laugh. You're my best friend. What I'm trying to ask is Will you marry me?
Yes. Yes? Yes, of course. You said yes? She said yes! <laughs> oh. Um, I'm sorry, I had it sized off one of your other rings. I don't know what happened. No, it's, it's beautiful. I'll get it resized. Dad, it's me. Call me back. Hey, I knew I'd find you here. Ever heard of a little thing called work-life balance? Uh, no, have you? No, and isn't it life-work balance? <laughs> How was your date? It was incredible. Mm, is he cute? The cutest, and he is so funny. Wait, you have something you're not telling me. How do you do that? Well, <laughs> I'm amazing, and also you're really easy to read. Really? So tell me. There should be an engagement ring on here because Evan proposed. But the ring didn't fit, so he has to resize it. Yeah. Congratulations. Ugh. Excuse my shock. I just, I didn't realize you guys were there yet. I didn't either. I mean, Evan is great, but it does feel a little fast. And what'd your dad say when you told him? I keep calling, but he never answers his phone. Then maybe you should tell him in person. I mean, Alana, I know you've been avoiding going home. I'm long, not avoiding, Renee. Really? How long's it been since you've been back? Five years. Since your mom's memorial? That's a really long time. And I know your dad comes to visit you here, but I'm sure he'd love to have you home. You could leave tomorrow, stay for the weekend. That would be a fun surprise. See? That's the spirit. <laughs> But we just pitched Atlas. But it'll take time to hear back. Work is crazy right now. But I can cover for you. You'll never find a ticket. Just bought you a ticket. That fast? Think of it as an engagement present. the usual. A quart of tangerine, please. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Wow, you finally crossed the Mason-Dixon line. Miracles do happen. And you're finally wearing a shirt with a collar. So miracles definitely do happen. A minute together and we're already back to a battle of wits. Too bad you came unprepared. <laughs> so what are you doing home? Just here to catch up with my dad. He'll be happy to see you. He misses you. Everyone misses you. Everyone. Let me get this for you. I'll have my usual and a fresh squeezed tangerine for Alana, please. Thank you, but I think that's a bit presumptuous to order for me. Oh, really? Okay. Well, what are we going to order? Tangerine. But still. <laughs> Don't forget, I've known you since you were four. I already know everything you could ever say. Then you know I'd say that's also presumptuous, but I expected that. Because I already know everything you can say, too. So why not surprise me and say something... Nice. Okay. Well? If you know it's coming, it's not really a surprise, is it? Bye, Kai. Bye, Alana.
key lime pie around here? Surprise! Oh my god, the best surprise? What are you doing home? I can't believe you're here. Well, I have something to tell you. Is that Alana? You're back? All right, so <laughs> For the Orchid Festival? Yeah. Well, actually, well, you have to see what James and I have done since taking it over. It's gonna be bigger and better than ever. More food, music, drinks, flower vendors, expo. Hey, if we get everything done in time. Well, if not, it's gonna be a disaster. Well, either way, we'll be entertained. I guess I picked the right weekend to come home. Well, the festival's next weekend. Can you stay a little longer? It's really gonna be amazing. And I'd love to, but work is crazy right now. We just pitched investors and are working on an ad campaign. Oh, can James and I be a part of your commercial? We can verify your matchmaking skills. Yeah, because you hadn't invited me to sit with you guys every day at lunch all the junior year. You were the new kid that you were trying to set me up with. Someone had to do it from the time you were paired up as lab partners. They had real chemistry. <laughs> I really missed your dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to run, but really, think about staying, okay? I'll try my best. <laughs> it's good to see you. Right, great Bye. to see you. All right, take care. What are you doing here? Well... Oh, whoa, 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 hold that thought. Is Leah is right over there. You finally get to meet her. Really? Leah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this must be Alana. Alana, this is Leah. Uh, I've heard so much about you. I'm glad my dad has such a great new neighbor. <laughs> Me too. I have to tell you, I'm so excited to finally meet you. You're all your dad talks about. Uh, really? Bit. Okay, so I talk a little. <laughs> no, come on in. Let me feed you. Are you hungry? Yes. Uh, a little freshness. It's Southern fresh. Come on in. Let's See? eat. <laughs> she doesn't know the treat she's in for. Really? So happy you're home. Oh. Me too. Same gorgeous view, huh? It never gets old. But you know what's better than this view? <laughs> what's that? I'm getting married. To the banking golfer? Dad. I'm sorry, I meant the golfing banker? Dad! <sighs> what does that look? It's just, um... I, I, congratulations! <laughs> You're engaged! Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh. Now, when am I going to finally get to meet Evan? Hmm? Good question. Uh -huh. Dad? Where are all the guests? Oh, actually, you know, I'm not uh, hosting guests right now. What? Why not? Well, the inn needs some fixing up, so I had to close her down. And how long will the fixing up take? Well, a couple of weeks, but the procrastination is taking years. You shut down the inn? When and why didn't you tell me? Well, what's to tell? This is good news. I mean, now I have a six-month vacation twice a year. I have turned my vocation into a vacation. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm sorry. I mean, I guess, like you, I just wanted to tell you in person. Now, let's get you all settled up right up there. I get the treehouse suite? Of course you get it. You're the guest of honor here. But I'm not a guest. I'm family. Oh, come on. Get up there. So I just want to give you a little warning. Um, oh, no. No, no, no. There's, it's good. It's just there's some things. Um, yeah, uh, just a little heads up. Um, the treehouse suite might not be so sweet anymore. A little TLC wouldn't hurt. Ah, yeah, just a little bit. So, what do you want to do for the rest of the day? Lounge on the beach with some of your mango lemonade sounds good to me. Check. Oh, but first, I have a couple of phone calls to make. Except I don't have any service. Well, you know you only get service on the beach. It's fine. I'll send some emails. Yeah, unfortunately, um, you're going to laugh at this. Uh, yeah, the internet's been down a while. What's a while? What's today? Okay, I know where this joke is going. Today is Friday, so let me guess. Internet's been down for a year? All part of my ploy to get you to come visit. And look, it finally worked. You need to unpack. Great to have you. Evan? Can you hear me? Evan? Evan? Evan, 
Can you hear me? <laughs> Let me help you up. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. A little piece of advice, instead of looking at that, try looking at that. Thank you, but I think I've got it covered. You know, the sun will be setting soon. You don't get that in Chicago. You know, the sun also sets in Chicago. Yeah, but not like here. And the weather there? Ha <laughs> ha. I saw you guys had a brutal winter. I didn't mind. Snow is beautiful. It is. I love looking at it. On Facebook. From Florida. Don't you ever want to leave here? Live somewhere with seasons? We have seasons. Pollen, summer, hurricane, football. And don't forget, I did leave here once. I moved to Chicago to be with you. And we both know how that ended. Well, it all worked out for the best, right? We're both happy. Oh, I'm happy. Of course you are. You get to play in the water all day. You'd be surprised to learn I do a couple other things. Like, work on your tan? Better than a computer screen tan. But if you're happy, then good. Then good, because I am happy. Then good. I am happy. There's nothing like saying it twice to convince me that it's true. I'll let you know I love my life. Good friends? The best. And how's the app going? Amazingly. And your boyfriend, whatever his name is? We're actually engaged. Congratulations. Where's the ring? What, no ring? Goodbye, Kai. So how was the beach? I bumped into Kai. Again. Was Safety Harbor always this small? Nothing makes anything feel as small as trying to avoid your ex. <laughs> so maybe it's time to stop trying to avoid him. You guys were best friends your entire childhood. I mean, I don't know, don't you think you could be friends again someday? Maybe someday, but off our interaction, not today. Maybe it's just too much computer time. Dad, it's work. Work and life is a delicate balance, honey. So did Kai tell you what he's been up to? Sorry, Dad. I know we never got to eliminate, but rain check for tomorrow? Definitely. Now you go to bed, an actual bed, please. Try not to work all night. Good night, babe. Good night. Um. And honey, I am actually happy for you by your engagement. I just want to finally meet Evan. He really wants to meet you too. Good night. Stay off your computer. By unplugging the modem and plugging it back in. Well, you're a genius. And then I realized I forgot some toiletries, so I went to town, and on my way back, I saw a flamingo. I missed that, just randomly seeing a flamingo in the middle of the road. We just stared at each other, trying to decide who should pass by first. I hope one of you finally put your foot down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. How are you affording to stay afloat without the in-open? Yeah, you know, I've been saving for a rainy day. Yeah, I mean, but there have been a lot of rainy days in a row, and now, um, you know, I mean, I do have funds to spruce up the place a little bit, but um, really, you know what, I, I, I don't know, I just think it's best that, uh, honey, I'm, I'm thinking of selling. Selling the inn? 
You love hosting guests, and this is your home, our home. I know. And I also know that you've always said you wanted to get married here, like Mom and I, and... Honey, if that's something you still want, I mean, we'll, we'll wait to put the in on the market. I promise you that. Well, I'll have to talk to Evan about that, but whether we decide to get married here or you decide to sell, the inn still needs to be in shape, right? So why don't we get started on the sprucing up and take it from there? Okay, fixing up the inn. We need a to-do list, a schedule, a budget, and Dad, I know you have money set aside for this, but I'd like to contribute. Okay, honey, that is very sweet, but no. We can discuss it later. Okay, what should we do first? A fresh coat of paint, new flower boxes, landscaping. Definitely furniture. You know what we should do first? Is relax. Second, coffee. Yes. For me. You've clearly had enough. We should head to town, stop by the hardware store, then the flower shop, then Mill's furniture shop. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I brought you some oranges for my tree. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What are you two up to? Well, by the precision scheduling, I'd say a rocket launch. I'll grab really? your coffee. Thanks. So, is it good to be home? I mean, look at this view. But I'm sure you know it well. My dad says you're from around here. Uh, yeah, I grew up in a little town like this, but on the Atlantic side. And um, my whole childhood, I dreamt of moving to a big city. Oh, I get that. So as soon as I could, I left for New York. Law school, then property law, then too much work. I definitely get that. And I kept coming back home. So sad when it was time to leave. But telling myself that this wasn't the real world. This wasn't real life. It was a vacation. So what happened? Um, I was overworked, had my heart broken, and missing my family, and somewhere in there, my definition of real changed. So you just gave it all up and moved home? It didn't feel like giving anything up, but yeah. Safety Harbor is special. It helped heal my heart. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got to get back to the restaurant, but come by later? Yeah, Absolutely. sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Okay, bye. Does Leah come over every morning? No, sometimes I go to her place. You know, we read the paper or do yoga. Yoga. Yeah, yoga. What? What? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> oh, it's Evan. Oh, okay, okay. Want to talk to him? Yes, okay. Of course I do. Okay. Hey, Evan. Guess who's here? Evan, nice to kind of meet you finally, hear you. You too, sir. Sir was not even my father, call me Micah. And I hope to actually get to meet you in person someday soon. I'd like that. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you when you were in town. No, oh, me too. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> so your dad's happy? Oh, he's over the moon. He loves having me here. That's great, uh, although I meant about our engagement. Oh. He's so happy. And actually about the wedding, there is lots to discuss about the wedding, but I should go. We're heading to town. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Good to talk to you. All right. Bye. When have I had Sam's enough? right there. I think oh, I'm going to tell her about the engagement. Hey. Hey. What's up? I still can't believe you're back. <laughs> Well, actually, there is a reason why I'm back. And I wanted to tell you in person. Okay. I'm getting engaged. To the banking golfer? Sam, it's golfing banker. Oh, congratulations. Congrats. I'm Thank so happy you. For you. So where's the ring? Uh it's getting resized. <laughs> oh. How are you two? How's the planning coming along? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, what's it's happening? incredibly stressful. Yeah, we just lost our venue. I'm so sorry oh, to hear. Sorry. We don't know what to do. You know how important the festival is. Not just the business that it brings to town, but what it means to everyone. Okay, so how can we help? Hmm? You can find us a new venue. Short of working miracles, how else can we help? <laughs> Thanks, Bob. We'll figure it out. Hopefully. Okay, well, if you need anything before I leave, please let me know, Sam. Thank anything. you. All right. Good to see you. All right. See you later. Bye. See you. Hey. Just make yourself comfortable. Thanks, I will. 
So, you're getting married. Right to it, I guess. I am. And how did you two meet? Through my app. Oh, closer works. Wow. Despite your obvious doubt, it does work. It matches compatible people in close proximity, like me and Evan. So, you found the love of your life, or did you find the love of your zip code? The point of Closer is that it limits impractical outcomes like, say... Long-distance relationships. Exactly. You know long-distance relationships aren't all bad. The love letters, the care packages, the visits. There's a plus side. A very impractical plus side. <sighs> so, I guess that's why you're here. To plan your wedding at the inn. Why would you think that? That was always your dream. It was. But now my dad's talking about selling the inn and... You already knew. I know it's been hard for my dad without my mom. But running the inn is who he is. And I think if you would just see it filled with people and life again... Kai! When are we hitting the water, hey, man? I'm gonna run. Oh, we hey, hit hey. surf soon, buddy. Yeah. All right, cheers. Dad, I have an idea. Why am I afraid to ask what it is? You can host the Orchid Festival at the Inn. It'll be the perfect venue. Honey, I would love to help, but the Inn needs fixing up, and the festival's in what, eight days. That's enough time to finish. I get. I mean, I guess it is. I mean, if I had some help. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. So how about I'll host the festival if you stay and help me. Dad, I can't stay another week. I can't do it alone. Are you guilting me into staying longer? No, I'm not guilting you. I'm bribing you. Okay. If I stay, can we go to the floating lantern ceremony? When was the last time you went? Um, with you and Mom. So, what do you say to stay? I say that if we're gonna get everything done in time, we better take our food to go. Go with it. To go. All right, let's go. Let's go. So I'm gonna stay another week through the festival, which means I get to be here for the floating lantern ceremony. Floating lantern ceremony? Safety Harbor has a tradition of floating lanterns to celebrate our loved ones, living and past. That's beautiful. It is. I used to float a lantern every year with my parents. But my dad hasn't done it since my mom passed. I think it could be good for him. That's sweet. Like, I'm happy that you're there, but I wish I was too. Me too. I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Bye. What, you're already at it? Early bird gets a jump start on the crushing deadline. I just finished prepping for painting, and I think tomorrow we should go to the flower shop. And how do you know how to do all this? You and Mom taught me a thing or two. Yeah, like how to hire a professional? Good morning. Good morning. Wow, you two look busy. Yeah. Well, I'm here. Put me to work. Oh. Leah, you're so busy with your restaurant, it's not necessary. Oh, but I want to help. Yeah, you can take over from me. How about you two work together? You can start painting the doors. Sounds good. Great, yeah. Wanna paint, wanna roll? I think I'll roll. I heard you're under construction. How can I help? Thank you, though we're fine. I would love your help. You know, in fact, you could team up with, um, Alana. Great. Great. Is there something going on between my dad and Leah? No, they're just friends. <laughs> They'd be a perfect couple. Why haven't they gotten together? I guess because they haven't had matchmaker Alana around in metal. Lucky for them, now they do. <laughs> and Kai, it's really nice of you to help. Of course, anything for your dad. When my parents moved to Vermont, he's the only family I have here. I can't believe your parents moved to Vermont. I know. Isn't it the, the law that you have to retire in Florida? Might as well be. 
Hey, Alana. I know what you're doing. You're hoping that hosting the festival will inspire your dad to reopen the inn. I am. I just can't imagine him selling the inn. And he never say this, but he misses it. So I want to help however I can. Thank you. There's a ton to do. Flowers, landscaping, furniture. We could divide and conquer. Or we could work together. We used to be friends. We can be friends again. This should dry before adding another coat. So what's next? I was gonna head to the flower shop, start on the landscaping. Uh, I think the flower shop is closed by now. Then I should probably get to work. Closer needs some new coat. Or we could do something fun. Go kayaking. When was the last time you went on the water? It's been a while. Uh, but I don't think I'm up for it. Okay. What about a walk? The pier? You can't come home without going to the pier. I feel like I've been so wrapped up in the inn and in me, I haven't asked about you. What's going on? Are you still making custom kayaks? <laughs> so the last you heard about me was from eight years ago. After the breakup, I might have asked for news about Kai Blackout. But the embargo is up. So you're still making kayaks? Yeah, I am. And paddle boards and soon kite surfing boards. That's awesome. You make those in your garage or? Um, I have a space. Oh, and you sell them? I make a living. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy for you, too. Got what you always wanted. Big city, a fiance. And you? Have a girlfriend? Oh, not really. I was seeing someone, but didn't work out. And to be honest, um, I'm on your app. But you're on my app? Mm -hmm. And you haven't found the love of your zip code yet? I guess I'm not as lucky as you. So, what's your fiance like? He's great. He's kind and smart. We have a lot of fun together. Are you madly crazy in love with him? Do I have to be mad or crazy for it to be a good relationship? Depends on what you want. All I wanted was a love like my parents had, and then I thought I had found it with hmm. I don't want to be mad or crazy. I, I just want to be happy. But are you happy? Yes, I am. Being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It means that you've decided to look past the imperfections. Is that saltwater taffy place still open? Took you long enough to ask. I'll race you there. I'm not gonna race you. Oh. Tell me. Renee. Nothing official, but you know my roommate's best friend's brother works at Atlas Capital. Well, he heard there's a deal in the works. A deal? What kind of a deal? To fund Closer Going National. Oh my God, that's, that's amazing. But nothing's official, it could all be hearsay. Even if it is, it's the best hearsay ever. He said the CEO loved your story about finding Evan on Closer. And news of your engagement is only going to help us. It's all happening. Hopefully, because as much as I'm sure your roommate's best friend's brother's hearsay is valid, nothing's certain yet. I should get back to these renovations. I'll talk to you later. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to get that. <laughs> uh, I could take it. Yes, thank you. You're going to save me from my daughter. Okay. <laughs> 
Hey! How's it going over here? It's going... We're good. Yeah, it's... I mean, in fact, you know what? We're great. It's going great. <laughs> cool. So, Dad, did you speak to Mel about the furniture? Yeah, his shop is closed today, so I'm gonna stop by tomorrow. Okay, perfect. In the meantime, should we start on the landscaping? Why don't we finish up and head to town to the flower shop? I'd love to, but I've got to get back to the restaurant. Yeah, and Sam and James, they want to discuss the festival, so I was just gonna catch a ride with Leo. Hey, sorry I'm late. I had something to do at work. No worries. I was just gonna head to the flower shop. Oh, I'll come with. Great. I'll get my car keys. You know, the flower shop delivers. Back when we were kids, stars in our eyes so big. Running around, chasing down every dream. Nothing in our way, stealing all the life from the day. I have been felt that feeling in so long. It is like. I think the last time I rode a bike was with you. Well, remember that time that you swung your leg off the branch and you almost broke your leg? Yeah, I mean, you mean when you dared me to? I didn't, I told you not to. No, you didn't. And then a horse fly the size of a golf ball was chasing me around. <laughs> I was rooting for that horse fly. <laughs> Good idea having them deliver. It's gonna be a lot of flowers. I was gonna talk to your dad about this, but I'd like to chip in. Oh, that's generous, but not necessary. You know, the inn is my second home. I basically grew up there. Let me help. That's really sweet, but no. These are my mom's favorite. She used to grow them. <laughs> she had such a green thumb. Oh, it's not hereditary. Seems like I only own the houseplants that have no will to live. <laughs> <laughs> My mom used to say orchids are like love. They grow easily, bloom in most conditions. And live forever. Here. This will look pretty in your hair. Excuse me. Shiny chrome. <laughs> the kayak. You got a minute? I need to talk shop. He sells my kayaks there. That's awesome. We'll go. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait for you here. All right. Excuse me. What's going on here? Kai is just helping me with the renovations for the inn. Oh. Stop. We used to be best friends, and now we're trying to be friends again. <laughs> it's cool that Kai is doing what he loves for a living. Wait, he told you? Yeah, of course. Good. For a while, I know you didn't want to know anything about him, but it started to feel like you were the last person on Earth to know. What do you mean? Alana? Beth? <laughs> You're home and haven't stopped by to see me at the bakery yet? Oh, Beth, I missed you so much. Mmm. Oh. I love your key lime pie. It's the taste of being home. You two were always the cutest. That summer that Kai helped me out here, he worked so hard to make you a chocolate engagement ring. <laughs> <laughs> With a cacao <laughs> in place of a diamond. And then you tried eating it instead of wearing it. It was oh. melting. <gasps> um, are those? Hmm. I've been getting them ready for the floating lantern ceremony. Are you going to come? I want to. I'm hoping to float one with my dad. I'm not sure if he's up for it. I know. But I'm hoping that since I'm here, 
We'll see. What? Nothing. It's just... It's been a nice day. It's been a really nice day. Did your dad book a guest? No. That's Evan. Hey! Surprise! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you know, I know you wanted me to meet your dad, so I thought... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kai, this is Evan, my fiancé. Evan, this is Kai. My childhood friend. Nice to meet you, Evan. Same. I can't believe you're here. <laughs> I'm here. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I got a um, couple things to do. Okay, I'll see you later. I want to apologize. I should have asked you for Alana's hand before proposing. Ah, not quite sure where that tradition stands in modern romance. Uh, it's her hand. You don't have to ask me. If Alana's happy, I'm happy. Because there is no more important decision than who you spend your life with. And oh, that I get lucky in that department. Alana's mother was the absolute love of my life. The moment we met, I knew we just had this crazy connection and I don't even know how to describe it but sorry I just I could go. <laughs> so uh, you two met on Alana's app yeah, yeah. all right so let's bring it back a little bit was it love at first sight was it lightning bolts butterflies actually uh, it took time our first date we didn't really hit it off no we went golfing and Alana had some thoughts on my swing it was awkward and conversation just there was no, no way I thought she'd ever go out with me again. No, Renee convinced me to go on a second date with him. And <sighs> Thank you, Renee. Mm -hmm. Look, it, it seems like it all worked out. And if you do decide to get married here, I look forward to hosting. Here? Hey, what your dad was talking about before, if you want to get married here, I'm happy to do it. Thank you. But I don't know what I want. When I was young, it was my dream to get married here like my parents. Now I'm not so sure. Why? What changed? I don't know. But there's enough time to discuss the wedding. For now, let's just enjoy being engaged. Yeah, okay. Speaking of... It's beautiful. So this is where you grew up. It's really special. It is. And I'm remembering that. Being back this time, I'm realizing that as much as I love Chicago, it'll never feel like home the way Safety Harbor does. I want to visit more and even, who knows, move back one day. Move back here? Alana, we can't live in Florida. Why not? Because our lives are in Chicago. Our jobs are in Chicago. What are we supposed to do? Just sit around watching the sunset? We could build lives here. <laughs> that just doesn't seem realistic. Hey! Evan, this is Sam, my best friend. Sam, this is my fiance, Evan. Hi. Hi. I've heard so much about you. Welcome to Safety Harbor. Thanks. Are you going to be here for the orchid festival or the lantern ceremony? Oh, I didn't ask. How long are you staying? Oh, you know, that is work calling, which should answer that question. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, no. What? Nothing. It's just, it's actually happening. You're going to get married. Yes. And I guess... 
somehow always hoped that you'd end up with... Don't with say. Kai. I have to go back to the shop. How's it going? Great. No, I don't know. I gotta... I gotta go. Hey, dude. Hey. I was just showing Evan around town, and then we were gonna head back to the end to start planting. Oh, okay. Cool. I guess you guys have it covered. I'm gonna go paddleboarding anyway. Kai's really into water sports. Oh. Alana used to be really into water sports, too. Really? I didn't know that. A lot of new things I'm learning about you. Evan, do you kayak or paddleboard? No, uh, but I golf, mainly with Alana. Mm -hmm. You golf? Yes. Golf? Yes, golf. It's like kayaking for people that don't live by the water. But you do live by the water, so why don't you go kayak? I told you, like, Michigan's got nothing on the gulf. But you're by the gulf now. So are you afraid of the water? It's OK. There are no more alligators. The sharks ate them. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go grab a bite at Leah's. Okay, see you later. <sighs> hey, just sit wherever you want, I'll be right there. Thank you. Hey, how do you know Kai? He was my childhood best friend. And then we dated in high school. And then long distance in college. And then what happened? After college, he moved to Chicago for a year. We tried to make it work, but it just didn't. Why not? I think time apart had changed us. Or maybe we only worked here. That we broke up. And then you created a dating app based on proximity. Closer has nothing to do with. I mean, yes. A long distance relationship helped me realize that there are other factors in a relationship other than being madly crazy in love. Like what? Like practicality, like compatibility. So, have you made a decision? I think I'm gonna check in with work for a bit. Okay. We'll see you later. Hey, honey. What's wrong? A week ago, everything seemed perfect between Evan and I. And now it's like the engagement has thrown everything off. You know, I think you wanted it to be perfect. I do. But to me, based on what I've seen, I think you two are more uh, like good friends than anything else. Aren't you supposed to marry your best friend? Yes, you are. But you're also supposed to be in love with them. This is about Kai. This is about us. About me. I came home and I started thinking about the wedding and love and what I used to want and what I realize I still want. Evan, in so many ways, we are so good together. That isn't enough. No. We deserve to have love. I deserve to be in love. And so do you. 
And I know you feel it too. There's something missing. There is something missing. But I didn't want to admit it. You're my best friend. And we'll still be friends. the right thing to do, right? Why don't you come have a seat? Just like we're used to. Come on. So? Growing up, I saw you and Mom so in love. And I wanted a love like that. And then I thought I had found it with Kai and it broke my heart and it made me think it was just a fairy tale. But it's not. It's not a fairy tale. Maybe it is. Honey, it... I had it and I lost it. You had it and you lost it. Maybe it's not sustainable, not realistic. But that doesn't make me want it any less. Good. And that's the hard part. I tell myself to be practical, but... I still want a love like that. I know you do. And I'm not asking for a lot. Just... A soulmate to spend the rest of my life with. That's all? <laughs> I know you're supposed to stop wanting the thing you want most and then you'll find it. But that just doesn't make any sense. No. Well, you do know the old dadage, right? The dadage? Oh, yeah. You will find the love when you least expect it, like when your ex fiance leaves Florida. That's an incredibly specific adage. <laughs> Whether it's true or not, it's hard during heartbreak. I know. Hey. Hey. You will have the love you always wanted. How do you know? I know. Dads know these things. And as for heartbreak, what did I always tell you when you were a little girl, huh? No rain. No, no rainbows. rainbows. Love you. Mm, we got this. And now, you are gonna take the day off, right? No. Yeah. What? As much as a pity party sounds appealing, the festival's in four days. You're right, four days, so you got No, I just need some time, and I'll meet you outside. Two minutes. Hi. Three. <laughs> wanted to check in on you. That's me. Thank you. I'm just keeping busy. Well, I have some news that might distract you. I could use some good news. Atlas just called and they're in. They're sending over a deal. They love Closer. Loved our pitch. And loved how I met Evan on the app. Sorry. Yes, this is great news. Check your email for the deal. They want to get started immediately. Okay. Alana. This is everything we've been working for. This is amazing. I know it is. It's amazing. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, what's going on? I have some news. Uh-oh. Okay. Closer's going national. What? Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm so proud of you! Mm. You're like a, you're like my little digital cupid. That's awesome. What? It's a good thing, right? I don't I don't know. After Evan, I don't think I'm qualified to be a matchmaker. Okay, no, Alana, look, you are an amazing matchmaker. You got Sam and Jane, you love love, right? That's not a crime. Very good. You should give this to Leah. 
It'll look pretty in her hair. You know, even if you weren't qualified to be a matchmaker, which you are, it's still not like you could stop yourself. Hey, Kai. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry. But you know how this town is. Everyone cares and gossips. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? No, not, not really. Not even friend to friend? Friend to friend. No. But I'm glad to have a friend right now. Well, this all looks really good. It does, right? Yeah, looks like you're almost done. Oh, are you kidding? Mel is delivering the furniture tomorrow, which is going to be a huge project. And then we start to prep for the festival. So what you're saying is right now you have nothing to do. No, I have a million things to do besides finishing planting these flowers. I have 10,000 emails to respond to, 100 calls to return, code to write. I've been ignoring closer ever since I got here. It's just... Well, you know, the sun's out, the water's calm. nice and so light did you make these yeah <laughs> look at you making kayaks owning your own business just trying to keep up with you you ready actually i am Beautiful. The sun on my skin. Just taking it slow and feeling so connected. I don't get it. You love being out on the water. So why'd you stop? When I first got to Chicago, I was out on the water as much as I could be. Kayaking, paddle boarding, sailing. It made me feel connected to Safety Harbor. The ocean. And you. I was out on the water and it was like you were right there with me. Feeling you so close. That's why I stopped. That's why I'll never stop. Mm. It was wonderful. And I love your kayak. Good. Then keep it. I'll ship it to Chicago. I've been trying to name it, and today helped me come up with the perfect one. So it's a gift. Thank you. But you know I don't kayak anymore. Hmm. Maybe you'll start again. So what's the name? Of the kayak? Oh, that's a surprise. Another surprise. Like maybe one day saying something nice? I guess now you have two surprises to wait for. <laughs> okay, here we go. Where do you want this? Right here? <laughs> no, it has to go over here. Wait, you got it? I no, got it. There. You just gotta... No. <laughs> the other way. Right? Does it not go there? No, no, no. It doesn't? Let me, can I just do one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> 
Are you okay? Yeah, I just remember doing this with your mom when we first moved into the inn, and you know, then again when we remodeled. A lot of good memories. And a lot of time ahead to make more good memories. Yeah. You know, Dad, the reason why I didn't come home is because I thought it would be hard. But when I got here, I realized that if I shut myself down to the hard stuff, I'll end up shutting myself down to the good stuff, too. And I don't want to miss the good stuff. No. And I don't want you to miss it, either. You're amazing. You have such a big heart and so much love to give, and I want you to give it. Is this going somewhere? Are we talking about the end? Yes, the end. Although I respect whatever decision you make, I don't want you to sell. But this is also about Leah. You two would be so good together. You are neighbors and compatible. That stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> What matters is that you two have that zing. The lightning bolts and butterflies. How did you get to be so wonderful? Hmm? Genetics. <laughs> Obviously on your mom's side, yes. So, Dad? Yeah. Is now a good time to ask about the floating lantern ceremony? Oh. I'd love to float a lantern for Mom. Can I get back to you on that? Or we have so much to plan. Sure. is asking for the contract. Did you sign it yet? I was just looking it over, but what if closer doesn't work? What do you mean? Of course it works. Think of all the success stories we've heard about. And Mr. Next Building Over sent me calla lilies this morning. They're his favorite. Your favorite. Exactly. And I'm not saying that liking the same flower makes us soulmates, but what I am saying is that just because closer didn't work for you and Evan doesn't mean it doesn't work. This isn't about me and Evan, it really isn't. This is me worried that we're putting an app out there that's telling users love is a combination of compatibility and proximity when it's not. Alana, I'm not sure where this is coming from and I support whatever you decide to do, but I believe in Closer and I want to take this deal. I'll talk to you later. So look great in here. Oh, yeah. Right here. Like, it matches the couch. It's great. Um, okay, so this needs to be filled, right? Cool. So I'll put the starfish here. What's going on? Renee and I have been offered funding to take Ulster National. Congratulations, but not congratulations. The problem is Closer is matching people based on compatibility, but not on love. Because of course an app can't determine love. There's no app for that. What if we're getting in love's way and we're about to do it on a national scale? I have a feeling you're not. But maybe even if your app doesn't bring the right people together, fate would still find a way. If you believe in love so much, then believe it has a way of working itself out, even without you meddling. Whoa, this place is really coming to life. Look at that. Well, I think it's time to get ready. For what?
Welcome. I'm so glad everyone could be here. You know, this is one of our most special traditions. We float our lanterns to honor those who mean so much to us. Not just those whom we remember in our hearts, but those that we hold close in our arms. Let this remind us that our hearts are the light of this world, guiding our way. So, let's share our light. It's been really special spending time with you. Somehow, Safety Harbor always feels a little bit more like home when you're here. you let my dad talk you into that name. Oh, when I saw how happy it made him. You know, that's all I ever want, for him to be happy. So speaking of my dad, yes, I've been meaning to ask you, do I have your blessing? Of course you do. Nothing would make me happier. I'm so happy to hear that. And what about you and Kai? Who knows what the future will bring? Who does know? I definitely don't. I mean, I'm leaving in two days. How are you feeling about that? Honestly, like I want to stay. Leah, when you decided to leave your life in New York and come back here, how did you know it was going to work out? I didn't. It's a lot like love, you know? When you take the leap, you don't know what's waiting on the other side. You just have to trust. What if you can't trust? I think you'll know it's the right decision when it feels like you're gaining more than you're giving up. Hey, 
your name? Hey, how's it going? Just grappling with this contract. So talk to me. What's going on? I've been thinking about Closer nonstop, and I feel like... I'm not sure if I can stand behind it. When we first started Closer, I just had my heart broken by Kai. Yeah, Kai. And that affected my perception of love and relationships. But being home in the place I love with the people I love and reconnecting with Kai has made me rethink those perceptions. And I'm wondering if maybe this is all happening for a reason. Coming back home and... Kai. If maybe I'm meant to stay here and you're meant to move on with Closer. But you've worked so hard. I know. And now you're gonna give it up for a guy? A guy who you've reconnected with for a week? A guy who didn't work out with the first time? This isn't about Kai. It's about me and Closer and wanting to be home. About feeling like this is the right choice. Okay, and maybe it is. But also maybe you're homesick. Maybe Kai's just old feelings resurfacing. Or even the last light of a dying torch. Um, I'm just trying to be sensible here. You've worked so hard and you'd be giving so much up. I'll call you back. Hey. Hey. Want to go for a walk? Sure. It's been incredible reconnecting with you. But I took the Atlas deal. I'm going back to Chicago in two days. I know. It's all I've been thinking about. What are we gonna do? I don't know. The reality is that I'm there and you're here. I can go there, you can come here. We already tried that. Then let's try it again. But it didn't work. So you're just gonna give up on us? We have something special. I know. Maybe it's old feelings resurfacing. A vacation romance. A fairy tale. Well, for him being a fantasy, it sure feels real to me. Are we in paradise or what? I still can't believe we pulled this off. I know, me neither. But we did. And the end looks oh, amazing. It really does. You may have your mom's beauty, but you definitely got my sense of style. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, your mom would be so happy. And you know, honey, um, I know you hoped that hosting the festival and seeing the inn filled with all these people would make me change my mind. And you are absolutely right. What? Really? You're not selling the inn. No, I'm going to reopen. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so happy. Yes, I am going to reopen the inn. And now you have to come back soon and be my very first guest. No, Dad, I won't be a guest. Because this is my home. Always. 
Excuse me, everyone. Can we have your attention, please? This is so exciting. We want to thank everyone for coming and to all of Safety Harbor for your support in putting this on. Especially Micah and Alana. We couldn't have done this without you. We'd also like to give a very special thanks to our festival sponsor, the nation's leading water sports equipment manufacturer and Safety Harbor's very own Kai Olson Kayak. Yeah, I came up with that name. Kai, you here? You want to come up and say a few words? No? Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll announce it. Thank you guys again so much for coming, and please enjoy the festival. Kai owns Kayak, like the biggest brand there is. I thought you knew. Sam said Kai told you what he's been doing for work. He told me he makes kayaks and paddle boards. Sounds like he left out a few important details. Why didn't he tell me? You know, Kai's humble. He started the company when he came back from Chicago. And I've heard him in interviews. When asked what inspires him, he says you. I really messed things up with him. It's not too late to make it right. You might not want that. Something tells me you would. Yes, come on, go find it. Now I see where Alana gets her matchmaking gene. Who? Me? Yes, you. What time do you get in tomorrow? Atlas just called and wants to have lunch. Around noon, so one? Perfect. But Renee, we can discuss with Atlas tomorrow, but I want to make changes to Closer. What Closer should really be about is love. Because that's what really matters. Connection. I like that, but how do we execute? I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing we need to discuss with Atlas. A side of light office. Let me guess. In Safety Harbor? Will you come visit? You know I will. Hey, I have to go. Uh, my date just got here. Mr. Next Building over? His name is Daniel. I'll see you tomorrow. Back when we Kids, stars in our eyes so big Running around chasing down every dream Kai! Nothing in our way Stealing all the light from the day I haven't felt that feeling in so long But something about you just brings it on It is like Kai, I am so sorry I got scared and I doubted us. I... I don't know what else to say. That's okay. Because remember, I already know everything you'll ever say. So what am I gonna say now? That we're real. You know it. And you never want us to be apart. And don't forget, I know everything you can ever say. So what am I gonna say? You are going to say... I love you. I do love you. Lots of wondered where they lead. Looking for that flicker in your eyes. Tell me I'm not crazy. Cause I've been thinking maybe you're everything I wanted for so long. And I finally found the place where I belong. It is like. Yeah. Uh.
masih alhamdulillah pak lo ini oh, kita kurmu aja gilna gilde jamu na gilbin pala ya na gilde jamu na gilde pera pera Leudis by Leudis by Leudis Hello Leudis by Apa itu Leu Next on the LA Eh Mia kita ke rumah nakil di sarung nakil di तुमसे कोई अच्छा है ना तुमसे कोई प्यारा 